What's up, Cal Gang? So, any, uh, any astrophysicists in there, uh, out there? Yeah, so we're solving an asteroid problem, right? So we have this asteroid, right? And it gives us these two knowns and asks what is the escape speed to escape this asteroid. So, let's get started, right? So we know that our escape speed, I'm gonna label this escape, is equal to the square root of two times the gravitational constant times the mass of the asteroid over radius. So, let's look at this, right? So the gravitational constant, we know that. The radius, we know that. But we don't know the mass of the asteroid. So that's all we're gonna need to find out. So, we have density equation, right? We know it's density, so density is equal to mass over volume. We're trying to find the mass, right? So, if we're trying to find the mass, we're gonna multiply. So density times volume is equal to the mass of the asteroid. So we know it's density. Uh, do we know it's volume, though? We don't know it's volume yet, but we can also calculate that. So we know that a volume, we're gonna assume that our asteroid is a uh, sphere. So for the sphere, the volume of the sphere is equal to four thirds pi radius cubed, right? So our volume of our sphere is equal to four thirds pi. Now our radius is, you know, or we know our diameter is 300,000 kilometers. So 300,000, let's get radius from diameter, we gotta divide it by two. So then you're gonna keep that. Now, uh, basically, all you gotta do is take that. Uh, I didn't calculate this, but what I did is I plugged it right in here. So we know our density is uh, 2,500. So 2,500, and then multiply it by our, our volume. So 4 thirds pi, 3,000, 300,000 divided by 2 cubed. This is gonna be a big number. And that's equal to our mass. So we calculate this. Your mass is equal to 3.54 uh, times 10 to the 19 kilograms. That's a lot of weight, but it makes sense because our asteroid is pretty big and pretty dense. So there you go. So we have mass. So we have everything we need for this, right? So we can just go ahead and say B escape. ESC. Do the square root. So two gravitational constant 6.67 times 10 to the negative 11. But by, or multiply by mass, so 3.534 times 10 to the 19. And then divide that by radius, which is a big number. Uh, it's, yeah, what is the radius? It's 150000, That's just diameter divided by two in meters. So then you calculate this, you're gonna get 177 meters a second. So yeah. That's how you do this kind of problem. Uh, not too difficult. Pretty uh, good problem, basically. It's labeled like a three-star question. It's not that hard. All you have to do is uh, use your equation. So yeah, good luck on your physics homework, guys. And I'll see you in the next one. Thanks for watching.